Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the shithole town of Austin, Texas, where we're heading up to the mid-70s, close to 80 degrees today on Thursday, November 29, 2018. So, uh, anyway guys, it has been a while since I've done a climate change meltdown roundup rant which used to be one of the more popular features on here so maybe i'll bring it back because i must say that today the uh the mainstream media news this yahoo news <coughs> is they might have 30 stories on climate change. There are more stories about how climate change is, you know, the, perhaps the single biggest existential threat to humanity and the planet. And there, there's that group of stories. And then the big orgy of stories is how Donald Trump... Uh, has simply become the laughing stock of the entire planet. Him trying to deny climate change after this new um, report came out last week, you know, that they tried to bury by releasing on Black Friday that we are completely fucked. Everything from the U.S. economy to everyone who lives in this country and on this planet, we're fucked. Uh, so I can almost do a dump the Trump de hive roundup rant. But before we get into that fat ass clueless motherfucker, let's just look at a few of the other stories that don't involve Donald Trump and uh, don't have my. <clears throat> no shit Sherlock button <coughs> or my bullshit detector button so you can decide which button that I would be pushing and I think it's an easy call on this first one greenhouse gas emissions gap wider than ever global greenhouse gas emissions in 2030 could be between 13 billion and 15 billion tons more than the level needed to keep global warming within two degrees celsius this century a u.n report estimated on tuesday so i could actually be enjoying pushing both buttons um anyway this is <clears throat> the UN uh, looking at, you know, all of the country's uh, emissions cut targets, talking about how they're completely failing on all levels. Um, so, you, you know, last year, they reached a record high, and they will reach another record high this year. We still got another month this year, so we can zip right on past last year. And greenhouse gas emissions are not seen peaking by 2030, let alone by 2020. However, emissions in 2030 will need to be around 25 percent and 55 percent lower than last year I yes uh, anyway guys <coughs> uh, what we are we, we are completely fucked uh, I got so many stories to uh, go over here before we get into Donald Trump uh, then of course you know these bullshit newest climate report these climate talks coming up in Poland this is I uh, don't even know who this is I guess this is just Yahoo News itself world faces impossible task at post Paris climate talks no shit Sherlock <clears throat> Three years after sealing a landmark global climate deal in Paris, world leaders are gathering again to agree on the fine print. 
the euphoria of 2015 <coughs> has given way to sober realization that getting an agreement among almost 200 countries, each with their own political and economic demands, will be challenging, huh? <coughs> This is Poland's deputy environmental minister, um, Michael Kurtyka. <coughs> Quote, <coughs> looking from the outside perspective, it is an impossible task, said the guy presiding over the uh, talks, and this was the same guy that a few weeks ago, his quote was, I, this is pretty close, I am very optimistic, I don't see a problem here, talking about the, the world being able to turn climate change around, and now on the eve of the new talks, he is calling it, in his own words, in impossible task. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> seasoned negotiators are calling the meeting, which is expected to draw 25,000 participants, virtually everyone arriving in an airplane. Paris 2.0 because of the high stakes at play, and I guess this is pronounced Katowice, Poland. Um, forest fires from California to Greece, droughts in Germany and Australia, tropical cyclones and hurricanes, blah, blah, blah. Scientists say this year's extreme weather offers a glimpse of disasters to come if global warming continues unabated. Yes. Um, anyway, then they are looking at uh, they're looking at this absolute joke. Uh, anybody thinking on any level there's any political will to do a goddamn thing. You see that guy over in France, he suggests putting a 30 cent tax on a fucking gallon of gas and the in goddamn Paris erupts into riots. Uh, suggesting a 30 cent tax on a gallon of gas. Uh, you, you know, Donald Trump, well, we'll get to Donald Trump in a minute. What do we have? We, we have uh, th that new fuck face down there in Brazil, that Bozo Nero guy. He has canceled the climate talks that uh, were scheduled for Brazil uh, next year. Um, you see, you know, Bozo Nero, just fuck your climate talks. Uh, you know, Bozo Nero and Donald Trump, just two peas out of the same pod. Um, this is <clears throat> John Rockstrom, the incoming director of the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Change. Quote, everyone recognizes that the national plans, when you add everything up, will take us way beyond three, potentially four degrees Celsius warming. We know that we're moving in the wrong direction. We need to bend the global carbon emissions no later than 2020 in two years' time to stand any chance to stay under two degrees Celsius, which is another way of saying, guys, that we have absolutely no fucking chance on any level to, uh, to stay below any goddamn, uh, any goddamn uh, two degrees, much less three degrees or four degrees. Now, this next story 
climate change and depleted resources leave world hungry from Associated Press. I think uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make this my I think I'm gonna make it my collapse chronicle uh, rant tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just read the first sentence. Feeding a hungry planet is growing increasingly difficult as climate change and depletion of land and other resources undermine food systems. The UN Food and Agricultural Organization said Wednesday as it renewed appeals for better policies and technologies to reach, quote, zero hunger. All right. Uh, okay, here is the no shit Sherlock heat wave death threat soars for elderly and city dwellers. More than 150 million people. More than 150 million vulnerable people worldwide were exposed to potentially life-threatening heat waves last year, scientists said Thursday, warning that climate change posed an unprecedented global health risk. Um, anyway, I think we get it. Um, <clears throat> globally, a total of 153 billion work hours were lost due to heat exposure in 2017, including 7% of all labor time in India. The outlook is particularly dire for Europe and the eastern Mediterranean, where mounting temperatures and an aging population have produced a perfect storm of risk factors, according to the study's lead author. Um, there you go. Uh, for a very, very long time, this is Nick Watts, author, one of the authors. For a very, very long time, we have thought about climate change as something that affects the environment sometime in 2100. Yes. Uh, when you look at climate change as a public health issue, it really turns it on its head. It isn't just affecting polar bears or rainforest. It's something that affects communities, children, families in the UK and Europe and around the world. No shit, Sherlock. All right, what are the latest, uh, you know, they always figure out, trying to figure out where 2018 is in terms of the warmest year on record. There was no El Nino, although I think now they're calling for about a two, about a 65% chance of a new El Nino forming in the next several months. I don't have that one pulled up. Uh, so they're figuring that 2018 is going to be the fourth hottest, but the bigger picture is the last four years were the hottest on record. The average global temperature for 2018 is to be the fourth highest on record, according to the World Meteorological Organization. Uh, the 20 warmest years on record have occurred in the last 22 years, while the top four warmest years, including this one, took place in the last four years. Ha. Huh. Do you think so? Uh, this is Peter Tallis, uh, the WMO's general, Secretary General, quote, we are not on track 
to meet climate change targets and rain in temperature incre increases, greenhouse gas concentrations are once again at record levels, and if the current trend continues, we may see temperature increases of 3 to 5 degrees C by the end of this century. Huh. And if we exploit all known, known fossil fuel resources, as Donald Trump is leading the charge, the temperature rise will be considerably higher, close quote, considerably higher than five degrees Celsius if, uh, if Donald Trump gets his way. How is India responding to all of this news in today's climate change meltdown roundup? Indian firm presses ahead with controversial Australian coal mine. Indian mining firm Adani vowed Thursday to this morning to press ahead with the construction of a controversial coal mine in northeastern Australia. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Uh, work on the Carmichael mine could now get underway than it within weeks. Adani said it would be it would fund the multi billion dollar project itself. There you go. The plan is to produce around twenty eight million tons of coal per year. Twenty eight million tons of coal coming out of one coal mine in Australia uh, being sent to uh, India. Uh, oh God, am I getting this? Uh, oh shit. Goddamn internet is shut off on me. I might just be able to... Uh, read the read the headline since the internet has decided to die again. Anybody who does not understand why this story uh, do, it belongs here, I don't have time to explain it to you now. Cyber Monday, Amazon Amazon records biggest sales in history for Cyber Monday. Uh, but I see, guys, I have lost my internet. I'm going to try this. One more article. Okay. I see I have lost my internet. We're going to take this rant and get closer to the fucking library. I'm so goddamn sick tired of this, dealing with this fucking internet. You don't have any fucking idea uh, what I've been going through. And now, not, not just to put, now I'm just trying to find fucking internet uh, to, to read the goddamn news. And the internet just died. Here at the library, I, I went to Starbucks today. There was no internet at Starbucks. And now, the internet has just died at the library. At the Austin Library, the internet just went down, just like it did at fucking Starbucks today. I uh, have no fucking clue what is going on. There is no internet uh, at, at the goddamn library, and I was just getting ready. I was just getting ready to... Uh, do the Trump, uh, the Trump, dump the Trump the hive climate change roundup. Uh, anyway, guys, I got a lot on my plate. So th there, there's a, a a bunch of stories. I mean, the the main thing there, the main climate change stories is talking about Donald Trump. You know, looking at this new climate report. And just saying, 
I don't believe it. And the number one trending story on Yahoo News today, the number one story is Donald Trump says he is too intelligent, that he is too intelligent to believe in climate change. This is the number one story on the planet. Uh, here is scientists respond to Trump's latest unhinged climate remarks. Quote, it's almost satire. Uh, it, it, it is satire. It's, it's you know, this motherfucker... Uh, with, with all of this, you know, what was it, 13 federal agencies, 300 scientists talking about how everything from the U.S. economy to this planet is completely fucked. Donald Trump saying, when was it yesterday, I don't believe it. And then today saying he is too, that he... He, quote, has very high intelligence, and therefore, since he is so intelligent that he does not believe in climate change, and then we, you know, the, obviously everyone from uh, social media to all of these scientists uh, saying that the guy is, he's become a complete fucking laughing stock uh, over the entire planet uh, with his drill baby drill and just completely ignoring and, uh, you know, the biggest existential threat to this country, humanity, and this planet because he's too intelligent to believe it. And it would be hilarious if there, there wasn't a planet at stake. Uh, here is Donald Trump dismantling U.S. climate efforts as warnings grow dire. The New York Times weighing in it <clears throat> on how Donald Trump is ensuring that greenhouse gas emissions will rise. Yes. Uh, and then the scariest one of all, Trump administration may reshape the next federal climate report. Uh, you know, all uh, Trump and his little merry band of horsemen of the apocalypse uh, claiming that they get to write the next climate report since they don't believe this one uh, <clears throat> just how they're gonna let their drill baby drill politics uh, dictate the next climate report to make a climate report that Donald Trump can believe but anyway guys uh, I see now that we have no fucking internet at the library. We have no fuck, not not just no YouTube uploading, no internet at the library, no internet at Starbucks, uh, no internet in my apartment. This is fucking 2018 in Austin, Texas, trying to find some fucking internet. We're so fucked. Smoke them if you got them. And we know why, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day heading up towards 80 degrees on this gorgeous fall day in the end times. And I need to get back to the uh, Optimus Club Christmas tree lot to sell a bright red, bloody red Christmas tree to Donald Trump's wife. Bye, guys.